Now, check out the volume panel on this phone. It's a really nice animated volume panel. Usually, it looks like this, but yeah, check this out. It also shows you the level of volume here. And if I expand this, you'll see that it's got some additional buttons, like tapping here will open the equalizer. So, if you want to make the volume panel on your Samsung phone look like this, you want to head on into the Galaxy Store and download the GoodLock app. Once you do, open it and tap on Life Up. Here, download the Sound Assistant module. Once you do, inside, tap on Make Your Own Volume Panel Colors. Now from here, pick the kind of lighting that you want to see in the volume panel. I kind of like this. It looks really nice. Then you can change the texture colors if you feel like. And you can even change the type of volume controls the phone shows you. It's up to you if you want the traditional bar or the knob. The knob kind of looks like this. Uh, it's not that great so I kind of prefer the bar instead. And finally, you can also change its shape, make it thicker or make it thinner. So yeah, that's how you can get a really cool animated volume panel on your Samsung Galaxy, which looks absolutely awesome. Now, if you don't like the animated thing, but you still want a nice and colorful volume panel, then switch off the Flex Volume UI and then head on into Themes and select one from here. And if you are still not satisfied, then you can tap here to create your own custom theme. So yeah, plenty of options to choose from. And as for the additional controls in the expanded volume panel, you want to go into the customize volume panel, tap on custom, then expanded volume panel and make sure that the show toolbar function and app volume is switched on. So now you'll have an awesome and a way more functional volume panel. Did you know that you can convert any normal video into a slow-mo on your Samsung Galaxy using AI? Let me show you how. So all you gotta do is head on into the Galaxy Store and download the Galaxy Enhance X app. Once you do, open it and open any normal video that you wanna turn into a slow-mo. So let's pick this one. And now tap on the slow-mo option. Now, depending on the length of the video, it will take a while. So let the phone do its thing. And there you go. We have turned a regular video into a slow-mo. So let's save this and do a comparison. So this is the normal video and this is the slow-mo of that same video. You can see that the water falling from the shed is slightly slower on the left. You know what? It came out better than I expected. So yeah, this is a nice feature to have. Now, you guys might have a question. Why would you want to use the Galaxy Enhance app to slow the videos down when you've already got this exact same feature in the built-in video editor? Well, let me show you why. So we've got the same video open on both of these phones and we are gonna select the 1x2 slow motion option. And you will notice that the video that has been slowed down using the Enhance X app is nice and smooth, while the video slowed down using the built-in video editor is choppy, even though it is the exact same source video. This is because the Enhance X app uses AI to generate additional frames, so the video looks nice and smooth compared to what you get using the built-in video editor. So this is why you want to use the Enhance X app to generate slow-mo out of your normal videos. Now the Galaxy Enhance app does a lot more. Like if you open a photo which has a bit of motion blur, um, you can actually see the motion blur if I zoom in. So in this case, you can use the Fix Blur option to reduce the motion blur. And yeah, there you go it does actually make quite a bit of difference. So yeah, using this feature, you can fix your blurry photos, which is a really nice feature to have. And apart from fixing motion blur, it will also reduce digital noise in your photos. So check that out. This was a completely unusable photo and now it looks much better. That is awesome. And lastly, you can also add HDR effect in photos that have a lot of contrast in them. So that's gonna make the dark areas in your photos visible. So yeah, you must absolutely download the Enhance X app if you have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So I think everyone knows that Samsung phones have something called the edge lighting, which lights up the edges of the screen whenever you get a new notification. And this makes the phone look really cool. However, you can take things further by customizing this. 
Like instead of the edge lighting, you can turn it into things like falling snowflakes, which is my personal favorite. Or how about having the phone display stars? That looks absolutely amazing, right? And heck, you can even set your own photos. Like here, I've set the picture of my dog. So you've got insane level of customization. Let me show you how this works. Alright, so to customize the edge lighting, you'll need to head on into the Galaxy Store and download the GoodLock app. Once you do, open it and look for the Edge Lighting Plus module. Once you find it, download and open it. Switch it on and head on into Custom Style. And here you're gonna find a couple of effects that play in full screen. So whenever you pick one of these, it will also change the lighting style from Edge to full screen. You can also head on into colors and change the color of the effect from over here. Uh, make sure that color interwork is turned on to change the color. And lastly, you can head on into the advanced setting and tweak how the effect plays on the screen. Like selecting the water droplet option will make the effect look as if it is raining. So yeah, you've got plenty of settings and options to play around with. And you can even change the size of the effect change the duration amount and also turn on rotation so you can really go ahead and customize as you feel like now if you head on into the effects and then tap on the plus button here you're gonna see more effects that you can use however the best part is that you can select your own photo from the gallery so you can pick any photo of your choice and use it as the notification but keep in mind that if you want it to look good, then you might want to use a GIF or clip the image. Like this is a clipped image and it looks much better in full screen. And I have already shown you how to clip the images in my previous videos. But the way this works is you open an image that you want to clip in the gallery. Then long press on the subject that you want to extract. And when you get these options, select save as image and you can use the clipped image later as the edge lighting. Lastly, you want to go into the advanced and tweak some settings so that it looks good. Now the second option is quite interesting. This is gonna allow you to assign a different custom effect depending on a keyword. Like we can tell the phone to show us a different effect when the notification contains the keyword Charlie's. And after adding this, we can pick a different effect from here. You can even go as far as customizing the notification for that particular keyword. So check this out. When the phone gets a notification from Snapchat, it shows us the effect that we had set up earlier. But when I text using my other number, it's going to show us the effect that we just set up for the keyword Charlie's. This is because we have set up a custom effect for whenever the notification contains the word Charlie's, which is saved as my contact on the phone. So, using this, you can have a different style of notification for your family and friends. And lastly, enabling the show app icons instead of custom style will show the icon of the app which is sending you notifications. Like, when you get a notification from WhatsApp, it's gonna show you the icon of WhatsApp. And when you get a notification from Snapchat, it's gonna show you the Snapchat icon. So there you go. And finally, this option will play the custom effect only when the screen is off. So while the screen is on, you get the normal edge lighting. And when the screen is off, you get the custom effect. So yeah, you must absolutely download the Edge Lighting Plus on your Samsung S23 Ultra. You can also switch your apps in the pop-up view with a gesture. Let me show you how. So as an example, we are in the Chrome web browser right now. If I press and hold the Recents button, you will notice that the Chrome web browser switches into the pop-up view. That is super convenient, right? And this is way more easier than opening up Recents, then tapping on the app icon and then selecting Open in pop-up view. So it cuts down on a lot of steps. Now this gesture requires good lock. So make sure good lock is installed and then head on into life up. Here you want to download the multi star module. So next open multi star and here enable quick launch of multi window. So this setting will allow you to switch to the pop up view if you press and hold the recent key. Very very useful. 
all right so i guess we are gonna end here hope you have enjoyed if you did make sure to hit the like button share the video and subscribe to the channel because i've got tons of tutorials on samsung devices see you guys next week and this is tech guy charlie signing off